Welcome to Landry Ancon YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. How appropriate. All right, um, I want to talk about the transition, the earth transition. All right, so I've been mentioning this. A lot is happening in 2018, completely going in a completely different phase of this transition that is probably unexpected to you, and it has been for me. Um, we don't know what to expect. We don't know from month to month what's going to happen, how we're feeling, what the transition really means, what it involves. And most of us, of course, as I said in other videos, may be thinking, oh, great, we're all going to go into a euphoric state. And then that's not what ha is happening. Are we progressing? Yes. Are we awakening? Yes. Are you raising your frequency? You are. Do not question that. It is happening. I'm hearing it from you. You guys are blowing my mind. And then I'll get these crazy emails from somebody that... It's my neighbor running the dog. <laughs> it's so cute. I get these crazy emails of people that uh, they're not le even... They don't even read their own stuff. Like this victim mode and I have all these issues... Can you help me? I'm like, did you read your email? Like, hello, McFly. You know, it's like it's it's a density. So there are there are people that are in that and staying in it, probably going deeper into it because they're making a choice. It is a everything's a choice. Everything's a choice. But what I'm hearing from those of you who are going into the awakened state, who are transitioning, who are making the difference, they're releasing things releasing fears and 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 you know forgiveness has been a huge one for you guys forgiving and letting go and taking responsibility and accepting the fact that you chose certain situations so that you could progress so you could like say okay i'm going to pick the most horrendous situation then i'll really find out if i am the enlightened being that i know i can be in i'm going to take that on so that I can pull out of it and raise that frequency, which is going to change this planet. That's what it does. It, it handle, You are changing the planet for all of us when you take on, when you took on a really challenging experience and you chose to pull out of it. You have free will, so you don't have to do that. You can sit and blame people and boy, well, little me and all that. You know what? Get, get in line, man. I mean, this is planet Earth. We're not in, you know, Mars. That blew up anyway, so that was a disaster. But the bottom line is that when you look at everything, you go, wow, I'm going to stop naming everything good and bad. This is just an experience. And we're going, but those people are doing this to that. They chose it. They chose it. These are experiences that will make them unbelievably enlightened beings if they choose it. They chose to play roles with each other. They chose certain situations because they wanted to experience it. Maybe they wanted to know what it's like to be, you know, uh, out in the desert, you know, starving. I don't know. I don't know. I just tell you this knowing that none of this is random. The universe is highly intelligent beyond our comprehension as human beings with these pea brains that we have. That's why I'm always telling you, push that energy out. You're connecting to the ultimate intelligence. Every answer. How do you think Tesla and all these guys, you know, uh, you know, Einstein used to meditate. So did Tesla. All these guys do. Steve Jobs. I don't know about Gates, but these guys understood the power that was not coming from them, the human being. It was coming from someplace else and they tapped into it. You have that power. And everything else is an intelligent choice before you came here. And so you set things up. You go, oh, I didn't choose this. Yes, you did. You did. When, you, when you're at peace with that, you go, wow. Woo -hoo -hoo. What a ride. And then you start to go, okay, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, I could be like doing some massive stuff. Do you know that I've, I've met the most awesome people that have stories that will blow your mind, who have overcome things, and they will not be able to speak to you because you're going to get to meet some of these people and, and at my events. You're not going to be amazed by these people if they said, 
Well, I was born into a really nice family and went to school and had a great job and I'm very happy. Yeah? Where's the story? Come on. Where's the triumph? Where's the tragedy? Where's the breakthrough? Because when you can do it, I know I can do it because we're one. And when you do it, it enables other people to do it easier. So what's happening? Okay, we're experiencing, and I'm hearing from you guys, some very challenging stuff. We talk about the shadows, uh, the dark entities in the rooms, just not feeling really good about things, maybe even going through physical changes and stuff. This is all part of the transition, and I swear I'm getting it every day. I'm hearing it from you guys, and I'm experiencing it myself. It's like, what is this? By the way, um, tonight, tomorrow morning, is the blue blood moon, full whatever it is. Somebody asked me about that. I don't know what it means. It means that it's a rare occurrence. Sort of odd that just a few months ago we had the eclipse, right? The big eclipse, which we could see here in Georgia. Um, very interesting that all of these things, these rare occurrences are happening now. And so what does it mean? <sighs> it means the planets and the moon. The moon is lining up with the uh, shadow of the earth and it's closest to the earth and it's a double moon in one month and you know that's all it means. Does it affect our energy? Yeah. But you know what? You have free will. So when people tell me, well I can't make that decision because I have to wait to a certain day. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, really? Okay, maybe there's certain energy going on, but you have free will. If you are determined to do something, you want it to happen, no moon or planet alignment is going to stop you. It won't. We can't live our lives that way. So when you run into some negativity, that can't stop you from your mission to go higher. That can't stop you from breaking through fear. In fact, you know what I think it's doing? I think we're being challenged. I think that there's things are bubbling. You guys are, are evolving. You're awakening and it's happening and I see it and you're feeling it and you're still going through some stuff and you got questions. That's cool. We're still evolving. And then we've got this over here. It's black, bubbling, black, gooey. Ugh. And it's coming to a head and it's in, and the veils are coming down between us. The veil's coming down f th with the low and high frequencies. So you're actually experiencing more. It's like we're all in the room together. We were all, you know, they were, you were in the house over there. I got to see you once in a while. But now it's like we're all in one room together and we're getting to experience it. We're closer to it. So it's not a threat to you, but you're getting to experience it, which could be a little frightening. It's like I haven't, I've, you know, the stuff's happening to me. I don't understand. So you, you think that maybe you're in a fearful mode or you're in a lower frequency. You're not. You're not. It's how you're reacting that's going to determine if you go into a fear or lower frequency at that moment, which will just encourage them. By the way, have you ever had anyone hurt you? You're still here, right? Has anybody died? I don't know. No. No. You know what? They're just trying to survive. It's like I said to you. It's like cancer. Everybody has it in their body. It's the imbalance that allows it to overcome. And it's just surviving like anything else. Why is, why is that bad? Because the effects it has on us as people, we don't like. But it personally, as a cancerous entity, is like, I'm just trying to survive like you guys. Just like people in lower frequencies, you're just trying to survive like us. They just don't know any better. They're just surviving the way they know. So no good nor bad. Just experience it. I want you guys to stay steadfast in what you're doing. I want you to be warriors. I don't like that word because I don't like the word war, but let's use it. You know, angelic warriors. What does that mean? War, uh, peaceful warriors. I think of us as more like the Gandhi types where, you know, we don't pick up arms. We put them down. We lay down and let the tanks roll over us if we have to. But you know, those people didn't fear it. I'm sure they didn't feel real good at the time. It's like, oh my God, are they really going to roll over us with these tanks? I don't think they ever did. I don't think the British ever killed anybody that way. I could be wrong about that. I, I think that they knew exactly who they were dealing with. 
The British were way too civilized to run tanks over people that were just laying down in front of them. Now, if you'd have done that in front of the Germans, they would have rolled over you. You know, it's just that whole cultural mindset. So I just want you to understand the nature of the beast. All right, so you've got this thing, this entity that's not thinking. It's not, it's, you know, it's just, it's lost. It's just lost. Bless it. Say, hey, bless you. Go find the light. You're not allowed here. You're powerful. You are whole and perfect, strong and powerful. Loving, harmonious and happy. You are all those things. Don't let that disrupt you. So if you're feeling stuff, I've, oh my gosh, I'm like on overwhelm lately. I just, I'm so overwhelmed and I'm having to force myself to sit down and get these courses done for you because they're badly needed. I'm calling in my help because I'm like, I need to accelerate this. And it's just a little bit overwhelming, but I can handle it. I can handle it. I'm like, I, hey, I never quit. Um, I think I told you I slept with the light on in my bedroom, a very dim light in my bedroom because just feeling weird, just feeling weird, not, not really bad or fearful or that, just, just feeling like something's going on. And I think it's, it's funny that the blood moon is happening, my friend. I told you, I don't study that stuff. I don't know the first thing, but um, these things do affect us. So that moon is very close. By the way, guess what happens in a full moon? We're water, right? It's pulling on us. So there's gravitational pull right now. You may be feeling a little odd. So yes, do the planets and things affect us? Absolutely. But we still have that power. And that's the challenge is what are you going to do during these times? Are you going to say, I'm not going to make decisions because that's a bad planetary lineup. Or are you going to say, hey, I got to get on with my life and I have free will and damn it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You can do anything you want. It's time. We are in transition big time. We're already there. So this flip that's happening is going to surprise you. We'll go through periods of total euphoria. I'll tell you right now what's happening, which should reinforce that it's very positive, is manifesting is off the charts right now. I've, I'm hearing people tell me that they're manifesting like crazy stuff. And uh, you know me, it's just nonstop with me. By the way, okay, I got I to gotta say it. There's a Tiffany bracelet that I've wanted, and it's really expensive. And I'm like, do, uh, do I really want to spend that kind of money on a bracelet? Not really. So uh, somebody posted in my neighborhood, they have a brand new, exa the exact one I want, Tiffany bracelet that has never been out of the box or put on, never worn. They didn't even put it on their body, which is nice. So it's not used. Brand new, it must have been a gift. They don't, they, they would rather have the money. So, um... I said, is, is it available? The price kept dropping. <laughs> and I said, is it available? And I made an even lower bid. And she said, yeah. And I was like, I'm going to go get it in about an hour. I'm going to go pick my bracelet. Why? Who knows why that showed up? I have wanted that bracelet, seriously, for years and just never felt like I could spend that kind of money on a bracelet because I don't really wear jewelry that much. But here it is available. I deserve it. I want it. I'm going to go get it. It's fun. I manifested it. Uh, I mean, it's just, just going on and on. You guys are experiencing this. And it's like, these may seem like little things, but they're not little things. They are you in alignment with that power, that like unlimited intelligence that you are, that everything exists right now. That all probabilities right now exist. So what's happening, the veils are coming down. So if you think about th something and you're not attached to it and you just... And it, it's a nice feeling. Whatever. It'll show up. It's free will. It has to because there's no negative. I need. I want. Oh, I'm going to manifest. How am I getting it? You know, there's nothing negative attached to that. So when you're going, oh, man, it'd be really cool if I got those, you know, velvet tennis shoes. Like, boom. Hey, velvet tennis shoes are in the mail. What? So you've got to just remember that your thoughts and feelings and, and what you feel about that thing is what's creating your reality. So if a, a dark energy or something that's screwing around with you, I mean, it's not pleasant. I mean, geez, I, you know, I don't like it. It ticks me off. I actually said the other night, it's like, really? Come on. I don't like it. You know, there's some power behind it. Does it have power over me? No. But so the bottom line is, um, when you experience it and you're not coming from a oh, this 
thing is doing something to me and then that's that I'm not powerful it's powerful it's dark it's fearful ah, you know like that's we go to the theaters to get scared ah. uh, that's if you switch how you think about it and say okay here's this like think about it think about it as picture an animal that you don't really like you know something that's a little scary a rat you know what if you pictured that rat as a fuzzy little cute bear, a little teddy bear, and you went, oh, it's just trying to survive. It just happens to be not really nice looking and does some stuff that, you know, we don't like. So we scream when we see the rat. The rat's just trying to survive. So we, we're, we place everything in scary and threatening. Get rid of it get rid of it they are not threatening to you they've never hurt anybody that I know of I know sometimes entities can scratch and do stuff well you know are you out there asking for it really these ghost hunters and stuff they're asking for it they're putting themselves right in the line of fire and and also you know messing around with them you know poking at them going come on bring it on and they get it you know and sometimes they take these things home that's not you you're saying I'm I want peace I surround this house with positive energy. I call in my angels. These things still might show up. Uh, and then you have free will to say, you're not allowed here. I do not fear you. Bless you. It's time for you to go to the light or leave me alone and find your own peeps. And when you come from it like that, you're like, oh, all of a sudden, nothing's scary anymore. It's like, oh, okay. That's it. All right. No big deal. So, yes, does it feel unpleasant? Yes. There's a little bit of fear in there, but it's not on the level of ah! So, roll with this. This transition is going to take you in places that are going to shock you that you probably didn't expect. Uh, they're going to challenge us, and we have to be steadfast as a group of higher frequencies that welcome those dark entities to cross over and join us. And the more light and love we send to anything that's struggling, whether it's your angry boss or your pissed off parent or, you know, the dog that bites you, you send them light and love. You send that positive energy and it will have an effect on them. And we transition this world and those people who are lost, they're lost. They haven't connected to their power yet. And some of you are still struggling with that, still thinking, oh, I'm going through all this and that. All right, sit with it. All right, you, you don't feel good. Okay. What are we going to do? Most of you are focused on it. I don't feel good. I don't want to feel good. Ah, fear. I've got whole lessons coming out that you're going to love. I show you how to deal with it. It's very much what I talk about, but we're going to go really in depth. It's like, how do you handle this head on and handle it now? Not 10 years from now. You're never going to eliminate fear. We're probably never going to see that in our lifetime. If we did, we would have a totally peaceful world. Think about it. You wouldn't lock your doors. You wouldn't really, you wouldn't worry about anything. You'd be all giving each other everything because you wouldn't be afraid of having lack. You would know that things are just going to show up. And somebody will give you stuff because they're not afraid to give now either. And there would just be no fear there. I mean, it would just be a perfect world if there were no fear. The fear creates the challenges. It's always going to be there. It's part of our DNA, our collective consciousness. It no longer has to drive your vehicle, put it in the back seat, it's going to talk, and you're going to be broke, and, and you should be sad, and you don't look good, and you're fat, and um, you know, you're never going to have that job, you're not smart enough, and oh, that's for smart people. Or Talk to the hand, dude. You know? Put on your seatbelt, because you're going to stay back in that back seat, and I'm driving the car now. You can talk all you want, because I know what you're saying isn't true. Because I know I have free will and I'm in charge. I know that you're there. I know you meant well. I know that you've been used by people to scare me into staying in mediocrity. But that doesn't work anymore. I'm not fearful. I'm not afraid to go try new things. I'm not afraid to be who I am. I'm not afraid to say that I'm, you know, 
this or that or that I want to do this or that I want that or that I don't want to do this career or I don't want to be married or I don't want to have kids or I don't want to, you know, whatever it is you want that isn't acceptable by the norm. Do you know how many people say to me, oh, why aren't you married? I'm like, because I don't want to be. It's like this. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're single. Everyone should be married. Do you know how happy I am? <laughs> Do you know how many of my married friends envy me? It's awesome. So we all have these imposed things about how things should be. Drop it. All of it. And go after what you want to be. And don't be afraid of what goes on out there with the material world and with the spiritual unseen world that has a lot going on right now. So get ready, people. I told you this, 2018, man, it is going to challenge us. It's going to be awesome. I told you the prediction for 2018 I was given. Total abundance for everyone. And I'm experiencing that, manifesting so easy now. If you use your free will and you focus on that, Total abundance for everyone, not just me, everyone. I want everyone to be abundant. I want everybody to be as happy as I am. And when you're happy, you raise my frequency. And that day when you're down a little bit and I'm happy, I raise your frequency. It's all beautiful. That's what makes us being human such an incredible experience. We get to experience that. The friendships, the sadness, the breakthroughs, the triumphs. All coming from a good positive place of just experience being human. Don't miss that. Don't miss it. So, earth transition, awakening, it's happening. Don't be second guessing yourself. You stay on it. I will never quit. I will never. So I, I've got, I, when I get up, sometimes I get up and I go, man, this is tough. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, I'm taking on a lot. And then I stop and go, not to worry. I will never quit. I can handle it. I'm going to do it. I just need your help. Maybe a little extra energy today. Or maybe, you know, I need somebody to show up that's going to help me. But I will never quit. I will never quit until I take my last breath. And then I'm going to keep it going on the other side. It's going to be even more powerful over there. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting going. All right. You're fine. You're doing it. You're on this channel. Dark entities don't come on this channel. They visit me, say something stupid, and then they go off to their conspiracy theory channels. Because they love feeling bad. That's not you. Shut it down. All right? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Blessings to you, my friend, you spiritual, angelic warrior. Um, i got to change that one. I still, I'm not, not into the war thing. Namaste.